So the idea for my project is a whole house mailer that would encompass all extensions of the New Directions brand itself to be sent out to customers. Um, for spring season 2014, Q2, to continue to build the brand. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into some of the uh, New Directions customer, like the demographics of that, and then a little bit about my vision for the mailer, and then I'll get into the financial piece um, last. So to begin with, just a little bit about our uh, customer. She's all ages, she's tricky, <coughs> she's updated, she's modern, and she likes a good deal. And another fun fact about New Directions is that it's been the fastest growing golf brand for the past six years. Um, so that's really important. I think it's important that we devote some time to the brand and making it, um, making our customer aware of it. So looking at your um, handout, on the right hand side I have some call-outs for spring that are lean surface. We have feminine charms, jet setter, mob girls, and clean slate. And these ideas I'd like to incorporate into the mailer. Um, so I have it back here. So really just, when I think of this mailer, I want it to be more of a magazine style versus just your average mailer, and really incorporate all of the different departments into one page. So versus my department has one page, handbags has one page, shoes has one page, we really bring it all together and make it more of a styling piece instead of um, the latter. But going into it, um, we would take themes from spring. So big ideas being um, color trends is in all paints. Denim blues are going to be big for spring 2014. Black and white is huge. So taking some of these ideas, some in charms, jet setter, incorporating it into a page to have a theme. And then also incorporating the most wanted for spring 2014. So we have strappy sandal, boxy top, vest, fashion skirt, all these ideas, and then having some call-outs um, in the layout. So um, this layout, I think, would really be important not only to showcase all of our departments, but to kind of keep it consistent and really um, show our customer how to style. And um, it also will play into co-op a little bit. So instead of our department paying for a page and another department paying for a page, it would be broken out a little differently. And I'll get into that next um, when I get into financials. So moving back to your page, um, as I said, co-op and, co and projected sales penetrations will dictate the page allocations. I'd also like to put a coupon on the mailer. Um, the coupon would drive sales and measure success through redemption. So we would only allow the coupon to work with ND products so we could really see, once those customers bring in the mailer and use it, who's actually redeeming this. And it'd, it'd be a way to track sales directly and a way to um, drive sales and really gauge who our customer is who's cross-shopping and all those different so if you'll go ahead and flip your piece over, I'm going to get into the financials. <coughs> and first, I'd just like to say that there are 14 departments that I took into consideration. And my projections were based on previous private brand mailers over the past two years for four seasons. I weighted the, mo um, the most recent data heavily, especially considering the production costs. If you go to your left, I have a profitability overview. So I'm just going to go over these numbers and then get into how I calculated them and what they really mean. The distribution quantity is 420,000, and that's how many customer households we'll be sending the mailer to. The sales lift is projected to be 700,000. The gross margin, 300,000. The cost, 138,000. The co-op, 83,000. And the co-op um, I used, I just pulled from a previous mailer to get that number. Net cost would be your um, loss minus your co-op, that's 55,000. And then your profit would be about 247000 So getting right into it, if you look to your right, I have a table that um, shows distribution. I met with advertising, and they actually run this report um, that shows the deciles of your customers that they have in their database. So um, we took the top tier, we compiled this report of all 14 departments, and we took the top tier of customers who had shopped the most often and spent the most. So really, um, really targeting that customer, it's about, I rounded up, it's about 420,000 customer households with about 4 million visits, 5 million transactions, and $100 million um, with $242 per year per household spent in New Directions departments. So that's really our target here moving forward. Um, when we get into the production costs here, right, you can see um, advertising comes up with production costs, and I pulled this table um, from the 
self marketing services. And like I mentioned previously, I use the most recent data because um, these costs do change, but they are pretty much fixed, a lot of them, because it's all production costs. So um, I use the most recent data for that because that's probably the most accurate estimation. The things that I did address and change were um, the print addressing postage because depending on your distribution, obviously the amount of copies and, and how many households you're sending it to, that's going to really affect um, those costs. So I adjusted those and I was pretty conservative with most of them. So looking over the data that I had for the past two years for all those seasons, I took um, more conservative numbers from the fixed costs. But it totaled out to be about $138,000 for the production costs. And as you can see, I went over that already in the profitability overview. Um, but we'll move right along to the sales list and gross margin projections. And this is kind of difficult because it's hard to gauge the profitability of a mailer that you are launching because you don't have any previous, um, anything to really go off of. But what I did was I thought about um, what mailers had launched previously. And our department actually has a sweater mailer that we launched in 2009. And so it was fall 2009, so I looked comparably at 2009 versus 2008, and I asked, and I um, measured that uh, sales list that existed for that year. So um, it was about a 6.65 sales increase. And then I looked at all the departments for um, redirections, and I pulled um, the sales for another private grants mailer, which took place this past spring. It was actually May 5th. So I pulled numbers for all the departments for their sales during that time frame, and then I applied the 6.65 um, sales list that would exist with a new mailer. And then that increase in dollars turned out to be about 700,000. So not just looking at the sales list, um, I think it's also important to look at the margin, obviously, but right beside that sales list column, the um, dollar increase, I have a percent to total. And there's a pie chart to your right as well, which outlines that. But this is really how I foresee us gauging the co-op because, as I mentioned previously, co-op I've estimated to be about $83,000. The $55,000 would be covered in the ad budget, but that was just an estimation based on previous um, brand mailer. But looking at your pie chart, we can see that feminine apparel makes up 78% of this um, sales list. That's about $65,000 for the co-op when you apply that percentage. So really it would be more so when you think about co-op, which I'm not sure if all of you know what co-op is, but it's um, the money that you get from the vendor to help support advertising. So um, the difficulty here is that a lot of the departments, because it's a Belk brand, work with Belk International and don't have access to co-op. So especially um, those on the, with the shoes and, and jewelry haven't had So really looking at this chart is how I think I envision we would distribute the co-op um, and at the page as well because really when you think about it, our department missing new directions is 42% and if we take up, put like two figs on a page, that would be the majority of the page. So if we allocate it by the area on the page and how much product we put forth, then I think that would be the most successful way to gauge co-op and really um, move forward with that. So some apparel will probably take up most of the page, and then the other departments could provide merchandise based on how much co-op they can provide. Um, but certainly I would not include all these departments regardless, because I think we should leave any out and we should really make a statement about brand, but really working with the ad budget and how much everyone can offer for co-op is, is important there. So moving back to the table, if you look at the average gross margin, I looked at the same time frame that I mentioned previously for that other private brand mailer, and I pulled the gross margin percentages for each um, new direction spender and averaged them. So I applied that gross margin to each of the departments, and I came up with a projected gross margin dollar of 300,000, which is about 43.3% gross margin percentage. So that's how I gauge the projected profitability. So if you go back to your chart, you see, I took the gross margin, I subtracted out the cost, I added in the co-op, and then you have your 246,528 profitability. So 
But from there, um, based on all the all the um, projections that I've made, I really think that not only because of the sales lift that I projected, but because of the need to grow the New Directions brand and really make it consistent um, is the reason why we should launch this mailer. And I think it would be beneficial not only for all these departments, but also for Belk as a brand as we continue to grow our private brands. So. We're